Most deaf people use lip reading and writing to communicate, but these methods are often unreliable. Now technology could make things easier for close to 3 million of them, according to estimates from the Kenya National Association of the Deaf, with the help of software company Signverse, which has created the TAP360 app. This is the interface that the users directly access in our platform, when they visit our platform. So I'm going to try a sentence like yesterday I went to the market and then get um, sign language for it using this 3D avatar called Eva. And then after it finishes sign, I can download that video. I can download it into a video and I can share it, share it on major social platforms. So like WhatsApp, um, email, Instagram, um, all over. Sign language was adopted as the country's third official language when a new constitution was passed in 2010, but interpreters are often short in supply. The technology has helped a lot because when a person wants to know sign language, it's simple. Someone to join to learn, but you must pay, which is expensive. Also, the sign language dictionary is expensive. It's better to use this technology where signs are made easier and it spreads worldwide. A person can watch and learn sign language rather than pay for it, which is expensive. Developed in the capital Nairobi, TAP360 uses motion capture and AI for real-time interpretation. Sign language interpreters wearing these motion capturing suits collect data and train the avatar. Imagine a deaf girl uh, going to a medical setting, uh, perhaps has a consultation you know, reproductive health. Uh, sensitive information is involved. Uh, the doctor is perhaps not um, culturally sensitive uh, enough to serve them. They don't have access to a sign language interpreter. And you know, s such kind of situations uh, really necessitate that we do need to have tools. We do need to have access to, if not sign language interpretation. Cost and access in rural areas could also be a challenge, but Sabatia says he plans to reach more people with hearing loss by adding local dialects, including Sheng, which is Kenya's urban slang language. Grace Korea Kanja, TRT World.